Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Prospect in a Minute, the one minute show where you get to learn how to brand, market and scale your business with cutting edge digital marketing tricks in a minute, or you get to spend a minute with Prosper. Guys, don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And in this episode, we're going to explore our SQL and MQL customers. or MQL and you read the topic right that's how we roll today now let's say you're a member of a school swimming club and then your coach gives you you know a sheet to find people or a task so you can find people that can enter a fundraising swim competition in the next coming week all right now you take on the task considering you're a good marketer, so you're gonna get people onto the fundraising uh, competition. And as you're walking down the hall, two students approach you, okay? Now the first one tells you that they're actually a strong swimmer and they're ready to enter whatever races they may have available. And you put them down on the ship immediately, all right? And then the second one hesitates a little bit and then they tell you that, you know, they really would like to enter these competitions, but they can't swim, all right? And they would like to learn how to swim and then maybe, you know, they could enter the competition next year, but they're just not ready today, okay? Right, so my question to you is, do you place them both on the same sheet of paper? All right, see, marketing qualified leads and sales qualified leads are a very important distinction for your business and you have to make this distinction because not everyone in the buyer's journey is equal all right so a person who is ready to buy now and is ready to be sold to um, is a sales qualified lead they are hot and ready and thirsty for whatever it is that you want to sell for to them and they're good to go right this is like the student that's the good swimmer and then you also have a person that probably needs more information um, for you to spot first of all their interest or whatever desire that they may have for your product this will be the student who is not yet a competent swimmer but would like to swim in the next year okay so do not move an MQL customer to your sales department until you're sure and they're ready for it, all right? So be sure your buyer's journey is clearly defined so that you can sell to those that are ready and you can also nurture those that are not ready to buy just as yet, okay? So in that way, you actually do not have to go out searching for new customers and we know how that could be detrimental to the growth of your business if you liked any of what i talked about today please comment like and share this video see you on the next episode